What the hell are you doing? Lisa screamed, dropping the shopping bags. Maria and Laura turned around. Their faces pale as ghosts. Lisa, we, we, we were just... Laura stammered. Just what? Eh? Destroying my daughter's dress. Have you lost your mind? Lisa was shaking with rage. Maria stepped forward. Her chin raised defiantly. We are doing what's best for Ali. That dress was inappropriate, she said. Eh? Inappropriate? It's a graduation dress, you not a stripper baby. outfit. A lady of all man's dreams. You be the one way they make me the boy. Hey guys, gather around because today we've got one of the most dramatic stories you've ever heard. You won't believe what happened to Lisa and her daughter Ellie just days before the most important night of Ellie's teenage years, her graduation day. Before we dive into this jaw dropping tale, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Trust me, you will want to stick around for this unbelievable ride. Meet Lisa, a 38 year old single mother who's been working tirelessly to give her daughter, Ellie, the best life possible. It's been just the two of them ever since Ellie's dad, Johnny, decided that fatherhood wasn't for him. When Ellie was just five years old, now Ellie is 17 years old. And she's the apple of Lisa's eyes, smart, kind, and beautiful, both inside and out. One day, Ali came home with the most exciting news. Mom, they made me the graduation queen and Tony is the king, she said, beaming with joy. Lisa was over the moon and hugged her daughter tightly. That's amazing, sweetie. We need to find you the perfect dress, Lisa said not knowing that this dress will soon become the center of a family storm. Now, here is where things get complicated. Even though Lisa and Johnny are no longer together, his mom, Maria, and sister, Laura, are still very much in their lives. And let's just say they are not exactly Lisa's biggest fan. They've caused Lisa and Ali a lot of pain over the years, but they always claim they are just trying to be a part of Ali's life. The drama started at their monthly family dinner. Ali, excited about her graduation, couldn't wait to share her news. But as soon as she mentioned it, you could practically feel the temperature in the room dropped. Maria pursed her lips. Graduation? Isn't that a bit frivolous? She asked. Laura, always quick to back up her mother, added. Shouldn't you be focusing on your college application instead? Lisa beat her thong. But Ali, bless her heart, stood her ground. I can do both. Aunt Laura, I am excited about graduation, she said confidently. The tension in the room was so thick, you could cut it with a knife. A few days later, Lisa and Ali went shopping for the perfect graduation dress. Ali found a stunning blue gown that made her eyes sparkle. Mom, this is perfect, she gushed. Lisa checked the price tag and winced. It was expensive, but when she saw the joy in Ali's face, she knew it was worth every penny. You are going to be the most beautiful graduate, Lisa said, swiping her credit card. When they showed the dress to Maria and Laura, their reactions were far from enthusiastic. Maria sniffed and said, it's, it's a bit revealing, don't you think? Laura added, and that color isn't really your best. Ali, Lisa saw Ali's face fall and felt her blood start to boil. I think she looks beautiful, Lisa said firmly. Over the next few days, Ali was all about graduation prep. She and her friends were constantly chatting about flowers, cars and after parties. But when Maria and Laura were around, they couldn't resist making little digs. You are not wearing heels, are you? You will be taller than everyone, Maria would say. Laura would chime in with, I hope you are not planning on staying out too late. It's not ladylike. Lisa tried her best to shield Ali from their negativity, but she could see it was getting to her daughter. The night before graduation, 
Ali was a bundle of nerves and excitement. Lisa and Ali were doing last minute prep, nails, hair, the works, everything. Mom, what if something goes wrong? Ali asked, her voice full of worry. Ali, nothing is ever going to go wrong. Tomorrow is going to be perfect, Lisa said, squeezing her daughter's hand. As she hung up Ali's dress, making sure it was wrinkle-free for the big day. She had no idea of the storm that was about to hit. Sometimes, the people you trust the most are the ones you need to watch out for. The next morning, Lisa had to run to the store for some last-minute items. Hairspray, bobby pin, you know the drill. Maria and Laura offered to come over and help Ali with the final preparations. That's so nice of you, Lisa said, surprised by their sudden enthusiasm. As she left, she saw them heading upstairs with Ali. Lisa wanted to trust them, but she had this gut feeling that something was off. She pushed it aside, hoping they were finally coming around. Little did she know that decision will lead to a night she will never forget, and not in a good way. Lisa rushed back from the store, excited to surprise Ali with her favorite snack for their graduation prep night. As she pulled into the driveway, she noticed Maria and Laura's car were still there. Weird, she thought. They should have been gone by now. She quietly entered the house and heard hushed voices. And was that the sound of scissors she was hearing? Her heart started racing as she crept up the stairs Nothing could have prepared her for what she saw when she pushed open Ali's bedroom door. There, in the middle of the room, stood Maria and Laura, scissors in their hands, surrounded by blue fabric scrap. Her daughter's beautiful graduation dress lay in rooms on the bed. What the hell are you doing? Lisa screamed, dropping the shopping bags. Maria and Laura turned around, their faces pale as ghosts. Lisa, we, 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 we just... Laura stammered. Just what? Eh? Destroying my daughter's dress. Have you lost your mind? Lisa was shaking with rage. Maria stepped forward. Her chin raised defiantly. We are doing what's best for Ali. That dress was inappropriate, she said. Eh? Inappropriate? It's a graduation dress, not a stripper outfit. Lisa couldn't believe what she was hearing. Laura chimed in. We were just trying to protect her reputation. You wouldn't understand. Suddenly, memories flooded back. The snide comments about Lisa's parenting, the accidental spill on Ali's favorite clothes, the time they had forgotten to pick her from school. It all made sense now. You've always been jealous, Lisa realized aloud. You can't stand to see Ali happy. Maria scoffed. Mm. Don't be ridiculous. We love Ali. Love? This isn't love. This is control and manipulation. Lisa shouted. Just them. Lisa heard a gasp from the doorway. Ali stood there, eyes wide with horror as she took in the scene. Oh, my, my dress, she whispered. Tears welling up. Lisa rushed to her side, pulling her into a hug. Oh, sweetie, I am so sorry, she said. Ali broke down, sobbing. Why would you do this, Grandma? Aunt Laura, how could you? Maria had the audacity to look offended. We were trying to help, dear. That dress was much too revealing. Get out! Lisa growled, her voice low and dangerous. Get out of my house right now. Laura tried to protest, but, but we were just... Lisa reeled, pointing to the door. As they hurried out, Lisa turned her attention back to Ali, who was still crying. What am I going to do, mom? Graduation is tomorrow and my dress is ruined, Ali said, her voice trembling. Lisa held her tight, her mind racing. How was she going to fix this? The dress shop would all be closed by now. We'll figure out something, sweetie, I promise, Lisa said, trying to sound more confident than she felt. As she comforted her heartbroken daughter, Lisa knew things for certain. Maria and Laura weren't going to get away with this. They had finally gone too far and it was time they faced the consequences of their actions. But first thing first, she has to find a way to get Ali a new dress in less than 24 hours. Talk about a mother's nightmare.
As Ali finally drifted off to sleep, exhausted from crying, Lisa sat at the kitchen table, her mind racing. This wasn't just about a ruined dress anymore. It was about years of manipulation and cruelty. She picked up her phone and dialed Johnny's number. Johnny, we need to talk. It's about Ali, she said. 30 minutes later, Johnny was at the door, looking concerned. What's going on, Lisa? He asked. Lisa filled him in on everything. With each word, his face grew darker. I can't believe my own mother and sister will do this, he said, shaking his head. Believe it, and it's not just this, Lisa said. Remember when Ali didn't get invited to Laura's kids' birthday parties, or when Maria accidentally spilled wine on her nursery graduation dress? Johnny's eyes widened. You think those were intentional? I knew they were, and we are going to prove it, Lisa said firmly. They spent the next few hours calling friends and family, piecing together a pattern of Maria and Laura's behavior. The stories came pouring in. Lisa's friend Janet chimed in. Remember when Maria told everyone that Ali was sneaking out to meet boys? I knew that wasn't true. Johnny's cousin Tom added, Laura once told me that Ali was spreading rumors about my daughter. I should have known better than to believe her. By morning, they had a list of incidents. It was time to call in the big guns. Lisa reached out to her old college roommate Sarah, who was now a top-notch lawyer. Sarah, I need your help, Lisa said, when they met at a cafe. After Lisa laid out everything they had uncovered, Sarah whistled. This is some serious stuff, Lisa. We are talking about harassment defamation of character, maybe even destruction of property with the dress incident. What can we do? Lisa asked. Well, legally, we could pursue charges, but since it's family, there might be a better way to handle this. Sarah said thoughtfully. That's when the idea hit Lisa. The annual family reunion was coming up in two weeks and everyone will be there. Sarah, what if we expose them in front of the whole family? Lisa suggested. A slow smile spread across Sarah's face. Let's plan this out. Over the next few days, while helping Ali prepare for graduation, Lisa, Johnny and Sarah worked on their plan. Thank God for 24 hours tell us an emergency credit card. They managed to get Ali a new dress just in time for her graduation. But that was just the beginning. They gathered photos, screenshots of text, and even security camera footage from Lisa's house showing Maria and Laura with the destroyed dress. Johnny reached out to the extended family member just to ensure everyone would attend the reunion, including all the elders. Tom offered to be their tech guy helping create a slideshow of all the evidence that had collected. We need to make sure they can't wiggle out of this, Lisa said, during one of their planning sessions. Sarah nodded, I've drafted a statement detailing their actions. As the day of the reunion approached, Lisa felt a mix of nervousness and determination. Maria and Laura had no idea what was coming for them. The night before the reunion, Ali asked, Mom, are you sure about this? It seems intense. Lisa hugged her tight. Sweetie, sometimes you have to stand up to be Liz. Even when they are family, especially when they are family, Johnny chimed in. As Lisa laid out her outfit for the reunion, she took a deep breath. Tomorrow, everything will change. Maria and Laura thought they could manipulate and hurt them without consequences. But they were about to learn how wrong they were. Ready for tomorrow? Johnny asked as he was leaving. Lisa nodded, a determined glint in her eyes. More than ready. It's time to end this once and for all. The day of the reunion arrived and Lisa's stomach was a knot. She, Johnny and Ali arrived early to set their presentation with Tom's help. As family members started trickling in, Lisa saw Maria and Laura all smiles and hugs as if nothing had happened. Once everyone had arrived, Lisa stood up, clearing her throat. Everyone, if I could have your attention, please. There is something important we need to discuss. Maria looked confused. Lisa, dear, what is this about? Lisa took a deep breath. It's about the years of manipulations, lies and cruelty that you and Laura had inflicted on Ali and our family. The room went dead silent. Tom hit the light. 
and the slideshow began. Last week, Maria and Laura destroyed Ali's graduation dress. Lisa said as the security footage played, gasp filled the room. They went through incident after incident. The birthday party snobs, the ruined clothes, the vicious rumor. With each revelation, Lisa could see shock and disgust growing on everyone's faces. Laura jumped up. This is ridiculous. We've never done anything to hurt Ali. But her protest fell flat as small family members started to speak up. As the room buzzed with whispers, one of the elderly uncles, a man respected by everyone, stood up and raised his hand. The room fell silent in a deep commanding voice. He said, enough! This family has always believed in respect and unity. What Maria and Laura have done is shameful. They have not only disrespected Lisa and Ali, but have also brought disgrace to this family, he continued. In our culture, we do not tolerate such behavior. There must be consequences. Maria and Laura, you will not only apologize to Lisa and Ali in front of everyone here, but you will also be banned from family gathering until you have shown through remorse for your actions. Maria and Laura's eyes widened in shock. Banned? But we are family, Laura protested. The uncle shook his head. Family does not hurt each other this way. Until you understand that, you are not welcome. The elder woman in the family who had been whispering among themselves nodded in agreement. One of them, Auntie Ngozi, spoke up. You will also pay for the dress you destroy, and you will do so in a way that shows you understand the pain you've caused. You will hand deliver the payment to Lisa and Ali, and you will do it with a sincere apology. Maria and Laura looked at each other clearly realizing they had no choice. With their heads bowed low, they approached Lisa and Ali. We are sorry, Maria said, her voice barely above a whisper. We didn't mean for it to go this far, Laura added, tears in her eyes. Lisa looked at them, her expression firm. Sorry isn't enough. You've hurt us for years and now you must face the consequences. You are not welcome in our lives until you can truly change. As Maria and Laura left the reunion, heads hanging low, the rest of the family gathered around Lisa and Ali, offering their support. The atmosphere shifted from one of tension to one of unity and healing. Later that night, after the reunion, Lisa, Johnny and Ali sat together, reflecting on the day's event. Ali, in her new graduation dress, looked radiant, a smile finally returning to her face. Mom. Thank you for everything, Alice said, hugging her mother tightly. Always, sweetie, I will always have your back, Lisa replied, fighting back tears. As they sat together, Lisa realized something important. Standing up to toxic people, even if they are family, is never easy. But it is necessary for your own peace and the well-being of those you love. Maria and Laura's action had finally caught up with them and justice in its own way had been served. The family had seen their three colors and the power they once held was gone. And that is the end of Lisa and Ali's story. A story of resilience, courage and the power of standing up for what's right. Now, we have a question for you. Was Lisa right to expose Maria and Laura's behavior to the entire family? Or should she have handled the situation more privately? Is public confrontation ever the right approach when dealing with toxic family member? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Your perspective could help others facing similar family conflict. If this story resonated with you and you want to hear more like this, Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more of this real life drama to light. Thank you for watching. Till I see you again in my next story. Goodbye.